Hey, hello everybody, it's your boy Durf, and welcome to another episode of Scrap Nick. So I just finished watching the latest Multiplayer Monday video where the guys are playing this Zero Gravity Soccer Ball Rocket League type game. I actually really enjoyed it, so I'm going to take a crack at building my own Zero Gravity Soccer car thing. So the main thing that I want to try today is actually trying to reduce all those button controls and see if I can actually use the mouse in some way to control the direction of the vehicle and then I can save the uh, WASD for the other controls. So it'll actually make it like super easy to control these flying vehicles in zero gravity. Anyway, let's get to the first idea. Uh, so I've gone ahead and built this idea off camera because I honestly didn't think it was going to work, but it actually turned out much better than I expected, so I kind of wish I recorded the building process so that you can see what I did. But it's not super complicated, so I should be able to explain uh, how it works. I don't actually have any method to, like, control the ball, so this is more of a, a vehicle that you just drive into it and hit it, which is kind of a terrible idea, but instead of having a, a laser in the front, which you, you can see it's just a laser to, you know, tell you which way you're pointing, which way you're going, uh, but instead of having a laser in the front, I could have built, like, um, you know, some sort of claw mechanic or whatever. So this is just sort of like a, um, a prototype. So for this build, it actually relies heavily on the ultra heavy blocks. So this build is actually inspired by satellites in orbit where they actually use reaction wheels to orient themselves. And that's why um, we need these ultra heavy blocks to actually have most of the weight of the vehicles. So, so it can spin that weight to orient itself. And I actually have it in uh, three different axes, all the axes that you need. So, uh, the pitch will be done, will be controlled by these orient blocks right here. Uh, one of them is set to camera mode. So I actually have a, uh, WS and AD converter for the camera. The pitch of the camera will control how much these side weights are spinning. So that'll help the pitch of the satellite. And the AD will actually spin the top and bottom weights, so that'll turn the satellite left and right. Now this second orient block, it's uh, set to world mode. I don't know if you can see it, but it's actually set to always point down to the ground. So I'm actually using that for the third axis right here. So that'll always, uh, that, that'll be the, um, what, do you, what do you call it, the, the, the roll. That's in control of the roll of this thing. So the vehicle will always want to be right side up. So let's uh, take it off the left. I'm going to show you how this works in zero gravity. And it's actually really neat. Oh, I also have a tiny little thruster in the back there, and that's just hooked up directly to the seat so that I can just press W to go forward. Let's see if I can hop in this thing uh, while it's doing some crazy stuff. I have a modded seat, so it's actually like really hard to get in it. Oh, ah, I missed my opportunity. It'll come around again. Well, I missed it again. 20 minutes later. Got it. I got it. Okay. So as you can see, uh, if I point to the camera, it'll spin the weights according to how I'm spinning it, and it'll orient itself towards the camera's direction. Uh, and as you can see here, if, uh, if I try to spin it this way, it will also correct itself so that the bottom of the satellite is always pointing down. Uh, there are a couple of weaknesses for this thing, and that's uh, if you try to point straight up, the thing will sometimes freak out because uh, it doesn't know which way to go to actually orient the bottom of the vehicle down. And that's the same thing also happens if you're pointing straight down. That's not that big of a problem because most of the directions that you're going to need are actually just uh, this uh, sort of donut around you. you. don't Usually you don't need to point straight up or straight down. And that switch over there is just to turn on the uh, laser. So as you can see, it has it uses no buttons to orient itself in 3D space, and just uses W to go forward. So you could actually hook up um, like a second AD converter to the seat, and use D, for example, to operate your claw mechanism. And you don't actually have to use any of the numbered buttons to create a zero gravity vehicle that could play Rocket League soccer space gravity. I don't know what to call it. But yeah, I'm pretty happy with this design, and uh, you know what? You could probably just stick on a gravity module and use this thing to fly around the world. 
it should probably do the same thing whether or not you're using the world gravity or the creation gravity it's a pretty reliable vehicle so the only thing that's uh, like a small caveat to this vehicle is that um, it's not entirely perfect uh, like you do lose a bit of momentum sometimes so if I'm uh, if I'm trying to turn very slowly like this then it'll eventually stop and not be able to actually uh, point It'll not. It'll eventually stop and not be able to point the vehicle in the direction of the camera, and that's because of wind resistance. Your reaction wheels are losing momentum, so it's not. Uh, it's not going to be like a perfect orientation all the time. But that's actually a good thing. You want to have a little bit of margin for error, so it's not always going back and forth like that. So, uh, and you know, it's always. Um, if if you do like uh, uh, quicker turns, it'll usually get it right on. At least get it a little bit closer than it normally does. But if you're doing like very gradual turns, you'll eventually lose some of that momentum uh, to wind resistance. It's not even that bad, I don't know why I'm pointing it out. This reaction wheels design, uh, as I mentioned, it's inspired by satellites. So I'm not sure uh, how useful this is. Like, if I had a claw mechanism in the front, the claw mechanism would be spinning around, too, so... I'm not super sure how uh, useful of a design this is, or even if they would have allowed the ultra-heavy blocks. But let's go on to the second design, where I use the Orient blocks with thrusters. Okay, so this is my second design, and as you can tell, it's super noisy, because there's always going to be at least four thrusters on. Same design, except it's using thrusters to orient itself. So let me show you how it works. Um, we have this camera orient block and a world orient block. So the camera orient block, again, controls pitch and yaw. So these go to these two blocks over here, which is the WS and AD converters. Now the WS and AD converters, if they are lit, if they're, uh, if they're on like this with the blue screen, they will be able to turn on thrusters. So all I need is a zero block here just to carry the value of zero, and then I can use these blocks like this, uh, which just checks if these blocks are greater than zero. Or sorry, if they're less than zero. The white is zero. So if the blocks are actually less than zero, then we know it's the negative value when those, uh, when those blocks are off. So that will let me know if, uh, if I need to turn the thrusters on one way or turn them on the other way. Because then these... Um, Maybe I can, uh, maybe I can show you how it works if you just look at the, the right side of the screen there. That's how it works. If it needs to go one way, it'll turn one way. If it needs to turn the other way, it'll turn the other thrusters on. And so for yaw, uh, it's these thrusters here. So these thrusters, uh, over here and here, those for, those are for yaw, so that back one will turn on if, uh, we need to turn towards the right and the front one will turn on if we need to, tur uh, to turn to the left and we also have the opposite here on this side and for the pitch it's the, it's the exact same thing except with W and S as you can see here and you can even see the thrusters in the front they're activating with these blocks so that'll pitch the vehicle as well and then uh, for the uh, for the roll, it's the same thing as the reaction wheel vehicle. We have a world orient block, so this block will always want to point towards the ground, and that's why uh, and that's how these thrusters know how to turn off and on uh, to make sure the bottom of this thing is pointing down. I have I the problem with this build is that I have to build everything balanced. Both builds have to be perfectly symmetrical top to bottom, left to right, front to back, they all have to be perfectly symmetrical with their weight. So that was actually a little bit of a challenge to do, but I managed to do it, and uh, it turns out that the driver's seat, the saddle one that I'm using, is medium weight. So that's why I used concrete for all of this, and I just sort of built a framework just to make sure that it was an odd number, uh, tall and long and wide. And that allowed me to balance everything really easily. And it also turned out to be the perfect number of uh, lightweight blocks to add all over the sides too, all over these corners. So let's show you how this thing works in zero gravity. 
All right, so it doesn't actually work. It's way too powerful. Funny thing is, all of these thrusters are actually at the lowest power possible. So I think one way to fix it is uh, to add more weight. So let's go ahead and add more weight to this. Now again, I don't actually know which blocks they allowed themselves to use in these uh, in these builds. But I'm going to go ahead and add a ton of uh, ultra heavy blocks just to add a ton of weight to this thing. I don't know how much I need, but I'm also going to increase uh, the forward thrust so that when I press W, that's, I forgot to mention that's what this back thruster is. It's just the drive thruster straight connected to the seat. So that's our drive. All right, so let's take this thing off the lift and see if that extra weight fixed our problem. Oh, it is so slow. <laughs> it's so slow. So I think I added way too much weight. Let's uh, let's replace all those ultra heavy blocks with um, just some regular metal. Maybe that'll help. We kind of sacrificed a little bit of control for more control, if that makes sense. I'm not sure, but these were some pretty fun experiments. And these same, these same ideas should apply to uh, planes and other flying vehicles as well. You should be able to use mouse controls to be able to pitch and yaw. Is that, a, is that a verb? Pitch and yaw your planes. And then you could also use uh, A and D for roll if you really wanted to. But yeah, this is actually giving me quite uh, quite a bit of maneuverability. Oh, don't hit the floor. Oh, oh my gosh, that was close. Let's aim for that uh, gap in the tree if I can. Yeah, it's not too... Oh, oh never mind. <laughs> uh, I was about to say it's not too bad, but... Uh, it's it's mediocre. It's mediocre. So I still think my favorite is the reaction wheels control flyer. Let's go ahead and pull that one back out and see. Uh, let's let's get a comparison. Uh, one thing that I really like about this one is that it's nice and quiet. I uh, the. the Although the uh, disadvantage of this is trying to get in the darn thing. It's so difficult to just point at the seat. But I did it. So yeah, this one is still my favorite. It's actually really easy to control. Pretty easy to fly. It feels a lot simpler too. Let's try to do that same thing. Getting that, uh, the gap of the tree and... Oh! oh. <laughs> Alright, so I'm still not the best pilot. Though, we don't uh, spin out as much with this thing, and I feel like this has better controls. Anyway, I had a lot of fun with these uh, experiments, and I'll put, these, I'll put the link for these things in the workshop so that you guys can try them out yourself. Hopefully I've inspired you guys to use these Orient blocks to control some of your flying vehicles with the mouse, so you can use less buttons, because I don't like buttons in my flying vehicles. But that's going to be it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!